Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are going to be reacting to the Banana Splits movie trailer. The reason why I'm reacting to it is because apparently it resembles that of FNAF. Think of the hug back when we did that, and if you missed that, you know, I caught up there. You can go check out my reaction to that. That was a pretty good short movie made by Hulu, and this is basically the same premise. So like I said, this is called the Banana Splits movie, and apparently the Banana Splits was a show back during the, I believe it started in 1968 and went until 1970, and Sci-Fi, the television network, is teaming up with Warner Brothers Studios to create a movie version of this, which has similar characteristics um, to FNAF, so I thought I'd react to the trailer. So we're going to start off by reacting to the trailer, like I've said so many times before, and then we're actually going to do a little bit of research um, about what this show was and uh, some rumors that are ha we'll get into it much later right now it's difficult to explain without going in depth but first let's do the let's do the reaction let's do that let's let's i need to stop talking and just watch the trailer like i said it's made by sci-fi wow that is pretty loud turn that down a bit following preview oh it's also rated r just uh maybe i should have said that earlier Yeah. We are going to the banana splits. <gasps> that <laughs> you're telling me that is that that better not be the front entrance because that is not a very appealing place. It's at night, I see the splits riding around in the little cars, laughing and singing. Who's excited to see the banana split? Why would you tell a child that? Rebecca, I'm canceling the show. What? Oh, this is about the show, not an actual pizza place. Hi, kids. Put on your ha happiest faces because the Banana Split Show is about to begin. I'm sorry. Where are the children? Mom, get out of here. Time's almost up. Making up a Why are you doing this to me? The show can go on oh. forever and ever and ever. Come on, you fuzzy son of a... <laughs> I just really want your brother's birthday to be perfect. Oh my god. What the freak? We're gonna have so much fun. I don't believe you. Okay, now I... D you may be wondering why I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, but... Trust me, it'll make sense in a few minutes. I'm gonna do an analysis of this trailer. Um, what the- oh, what the freak? Oh, come on. Film theory, why? Why would you do that? So... Blue Ribbon Con. So this is the, um, the banana splits. I didn't know- I thought this was gonna be, like, a pizza place. Apparently this is just about them canceling the show. The characters get mad because they don't want to, um... They don't want to be cancelled, so they fight back, I guess. So this is them performing, and then it's a child's birthday, they go to visit, and a creepy guy tells them something about the characters happening, doing something at night. Sometimes at night, I see the splits riding around in the little cars, laughing. Alright, so this is a security guard, or I guess a security guard. So, um... Again, very similar to FNAF, security guard watching the characters roam around at night. Singing. Who's excited to see the- That says the, the- the banana splits along with this guy. Banana splits! Yeah! What's on the sign? Banana split, jump- That would be my dog knocking something over. Quick dash, pillow fight. Alright, so this is just the classic TV show and they're just messing around. Rebecca, I'm canceling the show. This guy is obviously like the director 
or something. What? Don't know who Rebecca is, but um, guy abuse. And then it all starts to go downhill. Hi kids, put on your ha happiest faces because the banana split show is about to begin. And then the show must go on. Where are the children? Mom, yeah. The robots take the children, they lower them somewhere, as we can see here. Again, very FNAF-ish. Time's almost up. up Why are you doing this to me? So, something that's interesting is that the robots aren't just torturing kids, they're also doing it to the adults. Which is interesting. <laughs> Wait, why isn't- why didn't that girl do anything? She's literally just stood there watching like, yeah, this is normal. So I feel like this guy's gonna be, um... This guy's gonna be alongside the robots, I'm guessing. This... Is a waste of money. <laughs> that is not a good endoskeleton. Just, uh, just saying. But that is that is very creepy looking, and I, and I like how it's all like torn off and everything. Fuzzy son of a fuzzy son of a stab. Come on, you fuzzy son of a. I just really want your brother's birthday to be perfect. <laughs> I don't know what that weird really purple want goop is. To be perfect. That is uh, concerning. Maybe that's the purple guy. It's rated R for horror, violence, and gore. I don't know if that's really an R. Like, I don't know if that's worth an R. I feel like that should be like PG-13 or something. But who knows? Um, they did say uh, some of a beat, which is a bad word. Um, so yeah, now, research time. So using my uh, trusty resource of Wikipedia, we can find that the Banana Splits Adventure Hour was a hour-long packaged television variety program featuring the Banana Splits, um, which is exactly what we saw, the four fuzzy animal characters. Or funny animal. It ran for 31 episodes on NBC Saturday mornings from September 7th, 1968 to September 5th, 1970. 1972, it had a movie called The Banana Splits in Hocus Pocus Pork. It had a 2008 revival, and then in 2019, a TV movie um, was announced by Warner Brothers Studios. If we head back up here quickly, we can see genres, you know, everything you'd expect from a children's show. We got live action, animation, psychedelia. Yep, psychedelia. The subculture um, of people who use psychedelic drugs. <laughs> this is a kid's- this is a kid's show. It has a style of psychedelic artwork and music, um, which uses, like, distorted and surreal visuals, bright colors, full spectrums and animation, um, to invoke and convey to a viewer or listener that the artist- to convey to a reader- no, Jesus. <laughs> To invoke and convey to a viewer or listener the artist's experience while using such drugs. <laughs> or to enhance the experience of a user of these drugs. Psychedelic music uses distorted electric guitar Indian music and then loads of elements such as electronic effects, sound effects, and it's just stuff that should not be in a kid's movie. Comedy and adventure. And then psychedelia. So obviously there was something weird with the show off the bat, and then they come out with a 2019 TV movie. On February 19th, 2019, Warner Brothers Television Goop's Blue Ribbon Content, that's a long name, announced that it is producing a film version of the Banana Splits, which will venture into a horror-like setting, scheduled to be released through Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, and to air on sci-fi in the United States in 2019. And then this! This is why I'm doing this research, and this is really the main reason why I created this video. On June 13th, 2019, Sci-Fi Wire released a trailer for the direct-to-home video R-rated movie that appears to be heavily inspired by the Five Nights at Freddy's 
video game series. This, of course, led to people uh, such as Polygon to write articles like Sci-Fi basically turned the kid show Banana Splits into a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, basically stating that they are um, taking high, high influence on FNAF. The Banana Splits movie owes more than a little bit to Scott Coffin's popular Five Nights at Freddy's series, which finds Chuck E. Cheese-style animatronic characters breaking out in homicide homicidal ways. The first trailer for the movie is pure horror schlock. I've never heard that word before. With the always smiling critters wreaking havoc on... <laughs> I can't read, guys. Wreaking havoc on the staff and studio audience of a Banana Splits episode. Um, Flegel whack someone in the face with a giant mallet. Need we say more? This has then led people to assume that the Banana Splits movie is going to be the superior version of horror, pizzeria, killer animatronic movies, and FNAF, which is going to come out like a year or two after it, because this is scheduled for a 2019 release, and FNAF, um, the FNAF movie, I believe, may or may not still be working on a script, even though um, they've been doing that since, like, 2016, which is crazy. People think that the Banana Splits movie is going to be superior to the FNAF movie, which I don't think is going to be the case at all. There is rumors going around um, that Warner Brothers Studios is using some elements of the FNAF script when they had the rights to it <clears throat> in the Banana Splits movie script, so that is very concerning, um, and hopefully that's not true. Again, it is just rumors, but that is starting to go around, and honestly, it's Warner Brothers Studio, it's the movie industry, I'm sure they have, so um, that's just fantastic. That is very, very concerning, and definitely, I mean, it's probably illegal, maybe, but I don't know a, a whole lot of stuff about that, but um, yeah, it's not good. Very not good. This is not going to be in theaters. The Banana Splits movie is not going to be in theaters. It is going to be exclusive to the um, sci-fi television network, so it won't be in theaters. Unlike the FNAF movie, Dog Bark, which is going to which is going to appear in theaters. And because of that, I have a feeling that the Banana Splits movie is not going to reach a wide audience. It's only going to um, target specific people that watch that network. Because if you don't watch TV, or if you don't watch sci-fi, or if you're not a fan of, like, TV movies, you're most likely not even going to hear about this. But if you're a fan of movies, and you actually go to movie theaters to watch movies, and if you um, keep track with the media, new theater releases, and all that stuff, you are going to have a high chance of seeing FNAF um, in the theaters, because it's so much bigger than a television movie since it is an actual feature film which is going to appear in theaters. And this may just be me being biased towards the FNAF movie, um, but y you can tell, and I referenced this, referenced this a few minutes ago, Scott and Blumhouse and Jason and all the people working on the movie are taking time writing the script, and I love that. Even though we do have to wait longer, I'm super excited for the... Uh, for the movie, and I, I love the fact that they're putting so much effort into the script because it is really one of the most important things about making a movie because if you don't have a good script, you don't have a good story, and you can't really connect with the audience in that way, so I'm super happy that they're taking their time on it. And I'm sure that the Banana Splits movie, even though I've made myself sound like, you know, it's just copying for now, you know, there's no originality here. I'm sure it's going to do well. I'm. It, it looks interesting, honestly. It looks really, really cool. I personally don't watch TV a whole lot, um, so I most likely won't see it, but who knows? Maybe, um, maybe I will see it. It is scheduled for a 2019 release. There was no specific release date yet, but it is going to come out sometime this year, so keep your eyes out for that. FNAF movie news, haven't really had much lately, so... Um, yeah, unfortunately we haven't had much news, though I am constantly on the lookout for that, and I will inform you guys if we do get some news. But for now, that's it. Go watch the trailer if you want. Like I said, it's it looks really good. It honestly looks looks really, really good. So, that's it.
Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.